Hey everybody, I'm back, and welcome to the 1804 show. I'm your host, Dr. Will, and this is episode 95, and I had such a wonderful time with my guests earlier, so we just keeping it going. Hope everybody good. You know, one thing about me is that I love to have real conversations. I love interacting with people. And then I also love to talk to people who have the capability of thinking. You know, everybody doesn't possess that trait, so... We, we can get people to talk about things like real life stuff, doing a great thing, doing a great job. But yeah, I hope everybody ready to turn up. Yeah, we can bring my guests on here. Okay, I don't know what happened. So with some technical difficulties. So. Meech, what up, dog? I'll see you. I be seeing y'all when y'all view, so I can always speak. So let me add my guests in here real quick. Bro. What's good, bro? Man, thick, man. And Cali, you know what I'm saying? Brown Lambo, you see right now, you know? Brown Lambo, you know, the light, though. You know, so, bro. Yeah, man, that's what's yeah. up, bro. Can you hear me? Yeah. Yeah, I think your con yeah, I think your connection. Hold on, hold on real quick. Give me one second. Hold on, give me one second, bro. All right. Bro. Yeah, man. Welcome to the show, bro. How you doing, man? Thank you, man. Thank you for inviting me. Man, no problem, man. Shoot, I'm playing you. The EP, man, the had just dropped. Make sure y'all get it. Man, thank you, man, man. Make sure y'all tap in, man. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, bro, no problem, man. Like I said, man, it's all love this way, man. And I really love the, the music, man. For sure, bro. I'm so, I'm so, I'm trying to push it through right now, man. I'm trying to push it through right now. 
Yeah, so um, what was the inspiration to this? What, the EP? Yeah. Man, it was really, it was like business, like every, like every song that's on there was really just business for real. For, like I got a couple of features on there, so it was just, I locked in with these people that I did, did the song with. It was just really strictly business. So like when I did a song with Boom, it was just strictly business. You know, we went in the school, knocked the song out. Just like with my cousin, you know, Naughty Ben, knocked the song out with my, my, my uh, cousin, Max Hilly, too. That's my cousin, you know. We knocked the song out, so it was really okay. strictly business. That's all it was, you know. So I just named it Strictly Business. Then I got a song called Strictly Business with Boom, so, you know, so I just named the project that. Yeah, man. Like I said, like, I enjoy every last track. I don't know which one of my favorite, but I like them all. <laughs> I man, like them all. I, you know, I try my best, and then I got some. I got some more hot stuff. So real, real soon. I'm gonna try yeah. to drop for more people. I know a lot of people listen to the music. I, I said I went from having a couple hundred, a couple hundred views to you know what I'm saying a couple thousand. Now, you know, so I feel like see, I might as well just keep grinding. You know, and I just been living life like I'm in Cali right now. So living life. Right now. Yeah. So, what would you like your your major influences and stuff like that? Like, what made you wanted to rap? My friends, you know. And then I'm always I'm always saying my friends, you know, like we all kind of do it. We plan some of us play around, some of us take it serious. So you know, just being around people that do it. Yeah, that's dope, man. Like I tell people, bro, like once you really start taking stuff seriously man it's like you can't eat sleep or breathe it you know what I'm saying? without it so it's, it's really important that i tell people this like to find their passion you know find a reason to you know make you want to get out of bed every day you know and just what i do man just with this platform and with the show i just be making sure that I never lose that hunger, bro. Cause even if I do make it, man, I ain't gonna never stop being hungry. Cause that's when, you know, things fall when you get too comfortable. Yeah, hey, sure do. You ain't lying about that. That's why I don't really, I don't really get too comfortable. Like if I'm hungry for something, I get it. Hang on. That's good for getting out of everybody's way. So what was like shooting your first music video? Hey, it was, it was kind of kind of scary because like with, with like camera before, you know what I'm saying? And then like my first video never got finished, so like I was I never really got to see it. Like all I got to see was like a snippet. So I really like my first video, like the first person that the one that was like out it was boom. Like I was kind of nervous, but I really wasn't because all my friends was with me and stuff. And then we just had so it was kind of fun and kind of scary just because i don't be behind the camera but now since i got like three videos i feel like if you watch like all my videos like my, my first video like the one i just dropped you would see that i'm more like comfortable with like shooting the video now. yeah man i just love your stage presence man and your energy man like because now because like the the few videos that you showed me and stuff, like I could see like the more you was doing it, the more who you was, man. And you pretty much commanded the screen. So I get it. Yeah, most definitely, man. Shout out my uh, cameraman too, uh, DG uh, Marco too. Man. He shot all my videos too. Yeah, so um, tell us about so tell us about you know your your early life like your upbringing like because i know you you know i know that you're from the sag so pretty much just tell us like you know what you have to go through and what you have to overcome man i had to go through, like to get where i'm at right now i had to go through a lot like like growing up like i ain't really like have it like you know how everybody had it like growing up like people had their parents like doing this and that for them. So I kind of like was struggling like most of like my whole life. Like I ain't, like my family, like we wasn't good, you know, like, so like I just thought to myself like, see, I gotta get some money and do something. So 
you know what I'm saying? Like, I just really just had to, you know what I'm saying, us who gave me a job and do stuff like that. I really was just focused, like, as a kid. Like, I used to always ask my mom, like, why well, I ain't got new shoes and, you know what I'm saying, stuff like that. But I had to I had to realize, like, she, my mom was doing it by herself, you know what I'm saying? She ain't really got nobody, you know what I'm saying? We living at the paycheck, paycheck after paycheck. So, you know, like, once I got, like, older, I had kind of, like, realized, like, my mama, you know what I'm saying, she ain't having it like that. So, so I had to, like, do a lot of stuff by myself. Like, I didn't have a dad like that either. So I had to do a lot to get where I'm at, for real, for real. But now I'm a man. I got a son and stuff. So I really just be chilling, for real, for real. Yeah, I hear that, man. And, you know, I commend you for that, too, you know, being a – being a father, bro, because I can't imagine. But I can only imagine because I don't have no kids right now myself. But you know, I, I am a godfather and an uncle and stuff. Yeah. And oh, definitely, man. That's why. It's, it's, it's uh. You can hear me. Yeah, I can hear you. Yeah, I saw. I just. Staying focused for real, for not since I'm a father. Yeah, bro. Um, so, out of all the rappers that we have, you know, in this world, how you want your music to impact people and and just you know motivate and all that good stuff. How you wanna, you know, be remembered and all that stuff. I just want I just want like I really like with the music stuff, I really want like I want like my music to, you know what I'm saying, inspire a lot of people and I want like people to relate, you know what I'm saying? Like even if they don't, I just really want people to know like like all the like all the stuff I say in my rap and stuff is really, you know what I'm saying, facts and I really go through the stuff and I really you know what I'm saying, speak what I gotta say. So I, I really want people just to understand my music, you know. Not just listen to it. I was. I want. I really want people to understand. Every time, like I drop something, it's, it's something I'm going through. So, like every word I say is really facts. I don't cap about nothing. I don't lie about nothing. So, so if I was anything to happen to me, I just want people to know. You know, what I'm saying? remember me. You know, and I want everybody. You know, just really just remember me, like how what I was talking about in my raps, for real, for real, in my songs. Yeah, man, and that song "Problems," I swear yeah. that's like my theme song right now, man. For real, man. Yeah, I was really that's going so through something. It's man. so I true. I, in, <laughs> I swear, I was sitting, I was sitting in my room when I just made that song. I snapped like I, ain't, I went like one two with that song. Like I ain't even, I did it myself. I made that song myself off the off the top of my head. Yeah, bro, like that really is um a testimony, man, and and th and that's why like when I you know interview artists and stuff, it's just something like always would come back to me, you know, even though I never went through it like firsthand, but I can just channel the frustration of just anybody's um music, man, and that's the powerful part of music is the fact that it can resonate. You know, it, it, it's healing, man. And okay. and I just think that everybody who's an artist or who raps, sings, and this and that is like a inner sadness in most of the, you know, catalog. And, and that's why I feel like, you know, artists and everything are like you know magicians in a way <laughs> you know yeah, yeah. I, I feel you 100 i feel you 100 on that. for real that's why like like ever since i've been rapping and shit you know like doing my thing and shit i, I just um i've been living a rapper life for real for real like i'm in cali right now you feel me yep Coming like this, though, I'm gonna show you something. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm living like, you know what I'm saying? I'm living a rapper life. You feel me? Yes, I'm just, I, I really just, I really don't, that's why I say I really don't be lying, you know what I'm saying, about nothing I do. Like, I just, I just had to get out of the city for a minute, because, you know, 
I just sometimes I just be tired of being there sometimes just with all this, what's going on in the streets and all that. So I be trying to get myself away from a lot of that shit. Real for real. Yeah, you got to, bro. Like, but you're on the right track, man. And you know, I wish you nothing but success, fame, but mainly just, you know, you doing what makes you happy, man. And that's the the thing of all of all of this, man. It's just making sure that you do what makes you happy. You do what's best for you. Most definitely, yeah. man. I'm gonna I'm gonna keep pushing. I'm gonna keep going though. I ain't gonna stop though. I know I got a lot of support, but I just I just don't be knowing sometimes though. But like once I see the views on my music, or you know, people coming up to me asking when I'm dropping my music and stuff like that, that that kind of motivates. You know what I'm saying? Keep pushing. You know what I'm saying? Because sometimes, like I know I know I'm not the only artist that that feels like like sometimes they. Want give up, you know what I'm saying, on the music because they feel like they ain't getting a, a certain amount of views and or they ain't getting people a, a attention, you feel me? So, like, I, I just be, sometimes I just be like, my manager really be pushing me for real, for real. Like, I ain't gonna lie. If it weren't for my manager, I probably wouldn't even be where I'm at right now. I probably wouldn't even have an EP out right now. That's my first EP I ever dropped. I had music before the EP, but, you know, I just, I don't know, I just be, you know what I'm saying, chilling sometimes and I be having a lot of stuff going on, so. Too. So, how, how is it just, you know, starting from scratch and then working on your way up? Like, it's an amazing feeling, is it? Yeah, it definitely is. Cause when I first started, I didn't really get a lot of attention. That you know, I, I I feel like I just started, so you know, I wasn't gonna get that much attention. You know what I'm now since I'm getting a little you know, buzz, I feel like I feel like I'm doing something. Yeah, you are, man, because it's not easy, you know, putting yourself out there, you know, like face and voice and everything, because I think, like, once the general public, you know, put you, in, like, in this label or put you in this paradox and everything, that's when you know, like, you meant, you was meant to be there, because, you know, I used to talk on the phone a lot, you know, just to my friends and stuff and listen to their problems and give them advice and everything. So I felt like, you know, I was doing enough, but when I finally put myself out there, then that's when I knew that I was supposed to be here. But I yeah. wish I would have found that out sooner. Me but too. but in time, you know, confidence is going to come, you know, confidence and, and, and charisma and all that. Now that. Some stuff can't be taught, you know, from, from a book. You just got to go out there, you know, you just got to, go hard because just like with this brand bro like i can only represent this you know i mean this is a movement but i'm the captain you know i'm the chief i'm the creator of all of this and and then, and it's just the fact like i you know turn something because i don't know if you know what 1804 mean but i took it from a history book you know pretty much like a history subject and everything about the Haitian Revolution. That's when they got the independence and stuff. So I was just so moved and inspired by that to the point that I used that to commemorate my business and and also use their main objective into you know Saginaw and stuff because I feel like you know we have a lot of talent here. We have a lot of good people here. If we just forget about who live on which side of town and just come together, then we would take over, man. We would be, not, you know, just indestructible. So it is, though. But you know, like I feel like you know, like we can go never get to where, like a lot of people in like how Atlanta is and Cali and how everybody because a lot of people are beefed out with other sides and some people can rap over there, we can rap over there. You know what I'm saying? And it just it ain't that, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know what I'm saying? Then a lot of people don't even want to do something with people and stuff like that. It's just a lot of selfish people, for real, for real. I don't know. And it's a lot of beef and a lot of stuff that be going on. So, you know, it's going to be hard. And we already small, so, I mean, like I said, it ain't really nothing we can do. But, see, but come together one day, but that's going to be hard. This I was just telling my uh, man's uh, goat, uh, meets the goat. When I was just in an interview with him, I was just, you know what I'm saying, telling him, like, see, when he, always, when he told me, like, is the violence going to stop? I don't ever think it is because, you know, 
we young, you got more younger people coming in every time. Once we get older, young, more young people right there, right behind us. They see, you know what I'm yeah. saying? They see, everything, they see everything we do. You know what I'm saying? Big, they got big cousins, you know, older brothers, you know. And they in it after that, you know. They going to get in the beef too sometimes, you know. Yeah, yeah. You know, real, realistically, you know, the violence isn't going to stop because, you know, it's, it's a... Oh yeah, nigga, clean the motherfucker. L.A. nigga, 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 give people something to do and i just think that's what would kind of like you know eliminate some of the, the bad things but overall if dr king couldn't do any you know couldn't do nothing to you know stop the the killings and stuff like that then who am i you know what i'm saying but i'm just a person that's just willing to you know try to make an attempt so we can just prevent certain things and just you know talk about you know, certain things and give people a chance to just get some of the things off their chest, man. And that's what is really important. Like, I, I just think that, you know, if we had enough healing circles, then things would get better. Yeah, most definitely good, though. But, you know, it's going to take, take a little time, though. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's not impossible. It's just, it's going to be hard, but it's not impossible. Yeah. Hopefully it get there though. Should I pray? I'm praying for the city though. I got a son, so you know I gotta pray. My little boy. Yeah, man. And but again, bro, like I'm really proud of you, man. And you know, you you you're chasing after your dream. You're not letting nobody stop you. Cause I know that, you know, it's 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 kind of like hard, you know, because I go through that too. It's not what people say is about me, you know what I'm saying? Because I'm my own worst enemy. So if I listen to my inner thoughts or my insecurities start coming in, then, you know, I, I lost. So that's why I try to, you know, stay busy and stay positive, bro, and be around positive people. That's gotta be, a, gotta be, be around I'm, winners. Yeah, I'm around motherfuckers. I know that, you know what I'm saying? <clears throat> I stay around people that, you know, that ain't broke up on me after anything. No matter if I go broke or not, you know, but shit, hopefully, you know, I never go broke. Yeah, hey, that's why I just be chilling. I be around probably. I don't like that negative shit. That shit is weird to me. Very. <laughs> Tell me about it. For real, though, man. Motherfucker just a pick you up for no reason. And you fuck your whole day up. Then you don't even give a fuck about shit no more. That's how they, that's what, that's what they want you to feel like, bro. But sometimes you gotta just like not let people get to you. That'll hurt them the worst, cause shit. If you ain't letting them make it say whatever and that shit ain't even hurt you, that shit gonna make them feel like shit. Damn, what what else I gotta do? To fuck with this person, you know what I'm saying? Oh yeah, man. Most definitely, bro, cause um I don't know if you're a big movie fan like myself, but I mean I have to watch training day again, man. <laughs> yeah, I watched that but I, ain't, I probably got to watch it again. You know what I'm saying? I watched it a couple times. I, ain't gonna lie, but I, got, I, don't, I don't really watch it. I don't be at home. I'm out doing shit all day. Okay? I can't sit down shit. Yeah, um, it's on my HBO Max, man. If you need it, man, just let me know. I got you know, that. But yeah, you, said, you said it's on, it's on HBO Max. I got that. Man. See, I, man, I, I got to find it, though. I'm going to watch it when I get back, to, when I get back home. So I'm gonna Okay, well, when you watch it again, it's a particular scene after Denzel killed old boy Roger and they in the car and shit. So my favorite part of it was when he was trying to pretty much justify the things that he done, you know, telling Jake that, you know, Roger sold dope to kids. The world is a better place without him. But also it's just like, you know, how... You know, it's just certain people and then, you know, the devil and this and that, everybody really have that 
um, the bad entities confused sometimes because they don't think that, you know, people be actually the devil and humans sometimes. Sure. Like, that's why I just be really, you know, to myself because when we want certain things and stuff, sometimes our integrity is always going to be tested. So I'm already know. I'm definitely going to check out that movie about the training day. Yeah. But yeah, bro, man, I, I ain't going to hold you up, man. Enjoy your vacation. Just wanted to say thank you for coming on. I'm going to make sure I promote your your tape and all that, and just be safe out there, man. Have fun. Yeah, thank you for, uh, you know, supporting me, you know. I, I uh, love when people support me because, you know, you don't really get a lot of that, you know what I'm saying, coming out of second all, but, you know, some people support. But I'm glad for, uh, you, you had me on your show and stuff, too. Man, no problem, bro, man. Well, Anytime, man. You know, I'm just going to have to sit down, you know, and talk to some dope. You know, I'm in the city, uh, so we can have to sit down whenever, you know. Yeah, That's yeah, bro. Yeah, I'm with it, man. Just just let me know your availability. All right, I got you. I'm going to make sure I inbox you when I get off here. Okay, bro. All right, stay up, bro. You too. Peace. Yep, yep. Peace.